What is up you guys, it is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video and I have been very busy. Um, schoolwork, I am acing it now and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna really really try to keep on making videos but I also did get a job. I'm over at Subway, you know, flipping sandwiches left and right. So um, if you guys, you know, you want to go support the Subway cause, you definitely should go do that. But anyways, um, I'm going to tell you guys a couple things about identity and then I'm going to talk to you about Sea of Thieves. So if you're here for the identity, it's only going to be like a minute or two. But first of all, if you guys want to go see like uh, a look into my personal life, go follow my channel on YouTube here on YouTube, Aust TV, no spaces, just go subscribe, it'll be cool. And uh, yeah, I'm also actually making a channel with my girlfriend, hopefully whenever I have more time we'll be able to make a lot more videos and whatnot. But I'm going to be trying to post more regularly, it's been very hard to like actually push videos out and stuff. But uh, also, it might be because of the lack of information coming through. So, I actually have a pretty good announcement. Um, I am going to be trying to get a kind of a podcast going with one of the developers again. Uh, the newest one named Jade. And I wanted to mainly focus on, you know, how, how it is going into being a developer up in the Asylum Entertainment uh, place. And... Hey, you know how how she's acclimating to the new building or to the new uh, to the new place that they that they got going on there and the new uh, environment overall. And I wanted to focus on that. You know how how does how does the work how how does how does she get treated? How does um how did she figure out about the asylum team and how overall is how how is the um experience that she's having with that? So. Next up, I kind of wanted to do uh, apartments and like houses and stuff real quick. Like I did, I think I made a video over apartments and housing and whatnot. But I did see like I've seen like quite a bit of questions over the apartments and stuff. So I kind of wanted to go over that one more time. Um, apartments, they're gonna be a little bit cheaper, um, and they'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to go in there and have roommates with your friends and whatnot. And the apartments actually will be like infinite, pretty much, in the servers. Or like they'll have enough to where you, everyone can have an apartment if if they so do choose but like housing like regular houses that are unique in style and everything they're gonna be unique and they're gonna only be able to house one person not only one person but a family of people or a couple friends that want to go in there and they want a roommate together you know but it's they're only gonna be able to host that many people and it's not gonna be like an infinite thing because they are gonna be like a one you know one type of player set house and stuff so I just wanted to kind of go over that because people were like you know will there be unique houses and yes there will be unique houses and I think the houses are gonna be pretty cool so um, with that being said I pretty sure that there's gonna be like a really big town of like really rich houses there's gonna be a ghetto and there's gonna be like another town and I think there's an island actually and what do you guys think that they should call the island uh, go ahead and put that down in the comment section if you are here for identity and if you're here for sea of thieves it's gonna start off right here I I actually just saw like a video over the game and I've been wanting to talk talk about it for a while now I'm pretty sure I made like one video that had mentioned this game in it but Sea of Thieves looks really fun actually. So when I was younger, I actually did play this game called Pirates of the Caribbean Online. And it was super fun. Like you could go out and you could find other ships and you could, you know, you could go find new lands. But Sea of Thieves takes that to a whole new level. What they're trying to do is they're trying to make like a mix of exploration and a shared world experience so that everybody on the uh, the world, like every ship that's out in the ocean is actually another player that you can either fight or, you know, you can work together and go chart new territories. And there will be actually shipwreck exploration. You'll be able to like go underwater and there will be, you know, sharks and fish swimming around in that to kind of, you know, make it cooler. I don't know, <laughs> put some atmosphere to it. So like, I don't know, it's, you can, you can also do this thing where, um, you actually create your own legend for your pirate. So like, say I wanted to be pirate dragonfly Todd. And then like I'm the, I'm the baddest pirate on the sea and you can get people talking about you you can get your name out there in the community I think that would be super cool like you can I don't know I feel like it's a really like heavy freedom based game and I feel like it's gonna be pretty uh, fun <clears throat> pretty fun and uh, another cool thing you can do I actually saw a video over it you can shoot yourself out of a cannon and like there's just that's just little things in a game that I just really enjoy like 
for example, Vestige of the Past, you know, you can stick the hot dog in the bun, like, manually. And, uh, I think, like, going back to, um, Sea of Thieves, I think a big aspect of the game is gonna actually be the treasure hunting and, you know, riddle type exploration thing, you know, that they got going on, where they, where you, like, solve a riddle, find a treasure, or find some sort of weapon or something like that, and then you'll be able to use it. And, um, I actually did see a video where they like crashed into another ship and like the guys like jumped onto the other ship and they just, they boarded the ship and I assumed that if you go find some loot and treasure this big treasure and you got somebody tailing you then you better kill them first because they're gonna get on your ship they're gonna kill you guys and then they're gonna take your loot so I feel like this game is gonna be a lot like worlds of drift in the aspect of like you know where all the ships are gonna be and like the, the size and the amount of players that is going to be on there but I don't know exactly how it's going to pan out yet because I haven't played it and I haven't I've seen a little bit of gameplay on it so if you guys do actually want me to make more videos over Sea of Thieves then go ahead and put that down in the comment section uh, I think I'm going to title this like identity dash Sea of Thieves I don't know I don't I don't know yet guys um have I been slipping up on my YouTube game lately uh I've I've really been trying to make videos, but like I get home so late and then I have to study and then I'm just so pooped out and I don't want to make a terrible video and then you guys, you know, start to get lose faith in the channel and start unsubscribing. But there will be a time and there is uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, guys. I'm trying to post more regularly. I'm trying to make more time for it, but with all the plans I got going on, it's really tough. But with all that being said, I still love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, wait. Don't forget to go follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Bye.